啦。So glad you finally decided to show up. If you want to meet your comrade, walk through those doors. Good. I am told you are a rather resourceful individual. This should make you a most intriguing specimen. You and your kind may play mortals for weaklings and fools, and that may be fitting for some. But you underestimate me. Subject is male. Appearance suggests early to late twenties. True age unknown. As with the other, there are no vital signs. No heartbeat, no body heat. <sighs> Test chamber air sample is 97% carbon monoxide. Normal respiration cannot take place. Subject is, by all definition, clinically dead. Hello in there. I'm going to run some tests on you. I'm interested in how you work, but only because it's my task to find the most efficient way to kill your kind. Please, give me everything you've got. Begin the experiment. The test chamber has been filled with ultraviolet light, releasing moderate UV radiation. Does that burn at all? Subject exhibits no sign of pain or even physical discomfort. Shut down the lights. Conclusion: UV radiation does not produce the desired effect. Please move on to the next chamber. If you co-op, your kind is resourceful. Your survival instinct borders on animalism. I'm curious about your innate abilities. Let us see. The walls are reinforced with concrete, several feet thick. Only the most simple creatures can survive. You've shown great resilience so far. Let's see how you do against some live targets. Proceed to the next room. Sometimes myths are constructed around legitimate observations. Let us find out if there's any truth in an old superstition. Initiate Van Helsing experiment. The Van Helsing hypothesis test. I'd rather the experiment didn't end here. Please, don't disappoint me. Well, when God fails, put your faith in the gun. Proceed, Commander. The men are veterans. Three. Refined incendiary bombs are promising. Suggest field tests. What is it doing? Subject has terminated Belmont team. You are turning out to be a very useful guinea pig. But we have a conflict of interest. You continue to endure, even though it's my instruction to incapacitate you. This calls for a more drastic <laughs> approach. Continue to the next room. I'm very enthusiastic about many regimes. Electricity torture information. It would be useful if this applies to your kind as well. Or will the voltage have results similar to fire? Let's find out. You have demonstrated considerable mental and physical acumen, and I'm quite perplexed how something that should be dead can display such strong survival skills. Let's begin the final test. Step into the next room. Stand by. Run a check on the extinguishers one more time. I've already determined fire is a weakness of your kind. I would like to know more about the psychological oh. effect it has on you, and how it may be exploited.
My employer's punishment for your escape would be a thousand times more painful than anything you could devise. I refuse to give you the satisfaction. Let me out! Get me out of here! They get you too. Now I've got no excuse. A Nosferatu getting caught by a bunch of humans. <sighs> this is a new low. I paid for my mistake. The experiments, the torture, that voice. You don't know. You don't know. Wait, we can't go yet. There are servers here. We need to hack in and delete all of their research. Should be a mainframe on this floor. Fine, I'll do it. Watch my back. Any hearts are still beating when we're through, I'll rip them out myself. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. the last of them. Let's get out of here. Will do. And thanks. Are you interested in saving money on long-distance calls? <laughs> you done real well bringing our boy back. I got your info, hero. The same information I gave your prince, I also traded to the Giovanni for a bit of... juicy gossip. You both had an equal opportunity to take it. They just had a bit more initiative.
If you're going to play Jihad, you need to do your homework. Knowledge is power, and power has a price. But seeing as how I've already got what I want from them, I'll give you a freebie. Oh, you're going to love this. They've got skeletons in their closet. Literally. <laughs> I should have played the cat skills. Incest, organized crime, death cults. That's the Giovanni. Spaghetti and corpses, boss. The Incaran sarcophagus isn't the only occult item they're hoarding. I hear they've got a collection that'd make Alistair Crowley come back from the dead. That is, assuming he isn't already sitting on a shelf somewhere over there. Oh, I'll tell you. And if you're foolish enough to go there, well, don't say I didn't warn you, boss. They have a mansion in the city. I'll draw you a map. They're having a reunion. Anyone who isn't a Giovanni shouldn't get within 50 yards. <laughs> Am I the only one who saw this coming a million miles away? <laughs> you get em, boss. You give em one for Gary. If you should survive and ever need any information, come back and see me. I'm always here. And everywhere. Welcome back! Where to? What's the hops, bro?
Master? shocked to discover the grave of the former sex symbol had been vandalized. The star was entombed in the Hollywood Eternal Mausoleum after her death in 1964. Nothing was stolen from the crypt, but estimates put the damage at over $1,000. Professor Anders Johansson, the archaeologist responsible for the discovery of the Encarn sarcophagus, issued a brief statement today, imploring the parties responsible for the Encarn sarcophagus's robbery to return the relic, saying that it is a valuable piece of human history that rightfully belongs to the entire world. Johansson went on to add, This theft is not just from the museum, but from all of mankind. Johansson, a professor of archaeology at the University of Oslo, is in town to speak to his peers about his recent dig in Turkey and coordinate examination of the artifacts found at the Incarn site, including the sarcophagus. A shootout at a popular Chinatown underground club tonight left several dead and wounded after shots were exchanged between a local gang and an unidentified assailant. The club, Glaze, was a known hangout for one of Chinatown's largest street gangs, but was also a popular hangout for local club kids. One witness stated that the lone assailant acted like, quote, something out of an action movie. I couldn't believe one person could do that, end quote. Police suspect a rival gang may be behind tonight's violence. Concerned parent groups joined several senators on the step of Capitol Hill to protest the latest wave of violent video games. Senator Limperman called the game... I'm glad you're here. I've heard you've been up to quite a bit lately. Very interesting. I was hoping you could help me with something. A little bird said they spotted you down in the Warrens. Gonna be back there soon. I'm looking for a data CD. It was lost down there, supposedly. Find it for me and I'll teach you a thing or two. 
Some stuff that could really come in handy for you, from the sound of things. Huh. I wasn't expecting that. I thought you'd jump at a chance to learn at the foot of an elder. Very well, then. What do you need? Need a ride? us together once again. I see you've begun to embrace the beast within you. I smell the sweetest blood of my brethren upon your very hands. But enough with the pleasantries. Witness the power of my flesh transformed into the vessel of your destruction. Farewell, young Knight.
Not now. Hop in. Yes, what is it? I'm afraid it's invitation only. Uh, how did you get in here? Of course. Who are you? Here you are! You have invitation. Please have a wonderful time. Nothing to be concerned about. Excuse me. Hey there, Adam Dunser. I don't think we've met. You are? <laughs> hey, how you been? Hi, I don't think we've met before. I don't remember that. Yeah, Cousin Victor. I'm Nadia. I don't know if you remember, I've been staying with the Giovannis while I work on my master's degree out here. They've provided such a rich supplement to my education. I, um, I really can't say much about that. Oh, forget about it, really. It's nothing. Okay, I'll show you something, but you can't tell anyone. Promise? Follow me. Come on. Ah! 
Kindred! Your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now, or face the consequences of your actions. There is an alliance between your leader, LaCroix, and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. Actually brought it back. I wasn't sure I'd ever see you in here again, but here you are. And with the sarcophagus. <laughs> Bravo! Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. You will be rewarded for your work, I promise. Now, let's go open the sarcophagus. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin... An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, Budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you! I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane! I want it open! You! You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus, if only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. Oh, yes, how foolish of me. That would be the sound, reasonable course of action. 
a priceless piece of history. By all means, run out and pick up some TNT. How have you gotten this far? Here's what we're going to do. I know of someone who can help. His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. Appears he's been abducted. I did find a pair of bikini swimwear and a book detailing the origins of various Turkish dialects. I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them headfirst over the side. No, only the stupid and careless get caught by hunters. They serve their purpose in the natural order. You're so right. I would have put an end to the hunter scourge once and for all. Anyhow, the hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection. Or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used quite ingeniously as bait for Prince Lacroix's minions. It's not that I don't love walking into the heart of danger to curry favor with the local magistrate of the hour. But, actually, that's exactly it. I'd rather not get involved in the politics of it. Besides, I'd better document the sarcophagus before Sebastian's goon smashes it open. You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. I'd recommend no other course of action to the foolhardy. I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly, Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? I understand. I'm sure you'll find this suitable recompense.
Yes. 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 The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before. somewhere. Concerned parent groups joined several senators on the step of Capitol Hill to protest the latest wave of violent video games. Master? Senator Limperman called the games pornography and was offended by crude shots taken at him by one recent game. Among the titles the group is trying to get banned from stores are Mangle Garden, Rape and Pillage, and Abe Lincoln Teaches Killing. Protesters say that extended media attention towards exploitive games such as Meth Tycoon promotes parental awareness of their adult content and lessens children's interest in the taboo-themed games. Freak sandstorm activity is thought to be responsible for the destruction of two Navy fighter jets. The jets were returning from a patrol over the Persian Gulf when they disappeared off of radars. A transcript of a final radio exchange between the pilots mentioned wind conditions picking up and skies becoming so thick with sand that the sun was being blocked. Short I missed you. Did you miss me?
Where to?
pray now that you give me strength in battle, that I might overcome the hordes of Satan and his children, that I might wield the flaming sword of the Archangel and defend myself with your shield of faith, and that my victories are many and my wounds few, that I might further your kingdom here on earth. And if I can... Right hey, there. Stop right there. I know you're out here. Drop stop right there. Stop right there.
You. They've ruined my face. The fire. I can still feel it in my wounds. They'll kill me. They'll come back with their brands and it will burn. I wouldn't talk so they burnt me. Again. And again. And again. Their eyes. They, they enjoyed it. Before they come back, I'm begging you. Let me out. Hey, where are you going? Don't leave me here.
I knew Johansen would lure the servants of Satan, but I set this type of the Archfiend himself. Where is Lacroix? Gluttony is a sin. Step forward and receive your judgment. Show no resistance, and perhaps the Lord will be merciful.
I told you everything. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Let me go! I am an archaeologist. You can't hold me here like this. I am a hostage. I do not need protection. Bring me back to my hotel at once. I am an old man. How can you threaten me like this? Do you have a conscience? Just let me go. I have a wife and children. I want to see them again. Help me. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> what do you want from me? Ask! Ask! There is a key! I don't know! The museum, I think. Ah! Oh, God! Why do you do this? I tell you, I don't know. I only know the sarcophagus was stolen. The key must have been too. Let me out. I know nothing. Ah! Ah! I told you everything! <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I told you everything. Oh, oh, my wife. I want to see my wife again. Need a ride? Yeah, it's a nice night out, huh? <laughs> 